pemasaran Pak Kepala nanti bisa ya, sama. Kan bukan orang lain hmm. Tapi bangsa kita Salam Gubuk Apung Perkenalkan nama saya Septa Pradipta Dari SMAN Gubuk Apung Kelas 12 IPA 2 Saya di sini ingin membacakan pidato yang tadi saya bawakan dalam acara Gebia Muharram yang diadakan di kampus uh, SMA Gubuk Apung. Welcoming Muharram with the spirit of Hijrah. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Assalatu wassalamu ala asrofil anbiya'i wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa asrofi ajmain. Amma ba'du. Allahumma shalli ala sayidina Muhammad wa ala ali sayidina Muhammad. The Honorable, the Headmasters, the Honorable, the Teachers, my beloved friends, brothers, and sisters. First of all, let us ask thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given mercy and blessings uh, and also opportunity and healthy so we can gather here welcoming the Islamic New Year. First Muharram, 1444 Hijriah. Uh, Salawat and salam always be upon to the Prophet of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. May this salawat can bring us to get his help on the day of judgment. Brothers and sisters, it's such a great, incredible things for us to be able welcoming the Islamic New Year and glorious month of Muharram. We are, if we look around, we are very lucky because our families, neighbors. And see, uh, and families, neighbors, and friends out there were not able to welcoming the Islamic New Year's because their destiny or they pass away before, before pass away before Muharram comes. Therefore, we need we need to be more grateful because the opportunity is priceless. These are not enough enough. As a smart Muslim, we have to do evaluation and reflection. especially our deed and behavior that we have done all year around. Are we closer to Allah last year? I think we're not, because we just goes away, going away, uh, warp up in endless world. And are we feeling better than we did the year before? Or we just maybe a little less godness and benefit? Those two questions are quite difficult to answer, because when we went to answer, We will be brooding for a moment while re- regretting time after time that has gone to waste. So then, so that the thing we need to do right now, especially the month of Muharram, the first Muharram, uh, the Islamic New Year, 1444 Hijrah, is increasing the will of Hijrah. Today, Hijrah is not about moving f- uh, from one place to another place. from one province to another province no it's not today hijra has birth meaning the hijra from bad behavior to be good behavior from less beneficial to be more beneficial and to be more pious to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if we take a look the history of hijra itself when the prophet of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam from mecca to bandina In the year, in the first year of Hijria, we can conclude that Hijria is a need sacrifice. But don't worry, brother and sister. Every single thing that we live in order to be closer to Allah and achieve His blessings, uh, and then the latter Allah will change them for something better. Definitely not good, not only good for us, but also good for Allah. Brothers and sisters, in response of momentum of the month of Muharram in the Islamic New Year, 1444 Hijria, let's echo the spirit of Hijra, the spirit of Hijra, which is not just by a word or discourse. Little by little, let's fix the action with a real action to be someone used to be someone useful better and then to be to have uh, some noble character and uh, and to be more pious to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's uh, that's all for my speech today short speech today uh, 
that I can deliver to you in the glorious month of Muharram. Forgive me for all the mistakes. Thank you for everything. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Jadi uh, pidato yang saya sampaikan tadi itu berkisah atau the meaning of my short speech earlier that I read is uh, menceritakan tentang uh, kita menyambut tahun baru Islam dengan semangat hijrah yang baru di mana kita ini beruntung karena masih diberi kesempatan oleh Allah Subhanahu wa taala umur untuk uh, menyambut tahun baru Islam 1444 Hijriah dan di momen yang sangat spesial ini saya mengajak kepada kalian untuk menjadi orang yang lebih baik menjadi orang yang lebih taat kepada agama lalu menjadi orang yang berguna bagi agama nusa dan bangsa lalu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala juga akan senang dengan niat kita dalam berhijrah di tahun baru Islam ini seperti itu lalu sejarah dari perjalanan hijrah itu sendiri bahwa Nabi Muhammad SAW pindah dari Mekah menuju Madinah untuk mendapatkan sesuatu yang lebih baik berhijrah lalu di, di tahun baru ini juga kita harus lebih taat kepada Allah Subhanahu wa taala. Seperti itu. Sekian dari saya. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam Gubuk Kapung.